Well, look at that. After more than three days of blizzard conditions, I-80 is now back open. This is a live look at I-80 in Placer County. Keep in mind, folks, it opened just hours ago. And that powerful blizzard closed highways and ski resorts. It's now mostly moved through the Sierra. Good evening. I'm Laura Painter. And I'm Chris Thomas. Thanks for joining us. But here's the deal. Winter is not over yet. Even more snow is on the way. Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods has a closer look in just a moment. But first, this long closure stranded drivers on both sides of I-80 near Applegate. And ABC 10's Alicia Machado is there live. Alicia, I know you spoke to drivers who say they were stuck on the road for what, days? Yeah, Chris and Laura, that's exactly right. We spoke with one truck driver who said he was on day five here waiting on the side of I-80 at Applegate until that road was able to reopen around 215 this afternoon. And although trucks are able to continue, take a look at this right here. Caltrans has a checkpoint here to check for chains before those cars continue to go on. Now, after days in their cabins, truck drivers we spoke with say they got their wish to get these roads back open. Wheels finally rolling on I-80 after blizzard conditions stranded trucks on the side of the road, some for days. Stuck here about four days. Everyone is waiting for their package and we are delayed. Truck drivers waiting it out until the roads higher up could be cleared of snow. Very bad because some people maybe they don't have a food, and that the biggest problem, there's only one gas station and no place to park the truck. And there's a lot of trucks, they are on the road. Pretty much have to be prepared and, and have plenty of water, plenty of food, you know, just for conditions like this. And few are more prepared than Robert McClarney, a truck driver of 28 years. Going on five days now, you're used to it. That's your, that, that's your way of life. McClarney from Western New York. I'm used to get these conditions in the Erie South. We get a lot of storms up there. We get a lot of ice storms. And he knows what to pack, even bringing a barbecue in his truck. Eating a lot of steak, cabbage, vegetables on my grill. Doing a barbecue. While it's the norm for McClarney, blizzard conditions this severe and of this duration are unusual for the Sierra. Some drivers needing to be pulled from the snow after getting trapped near Echo Summit. McClarney and others thinking of them. Some also thinking of the kindness they were met with in these difficult conditions. Thank you for some of the people, especially here, and they just say thank you, trucker. And I saw a lot of people stop here and they say, hey, you guys need anything. I really appreciate the local people here. I-80 is also open to passenger vehicles now as well. Caltrans is reminding drivers to take it slow and be prepared if they're planning on heading out on the roads. There is equipment still up there on the hill and areas can get narrow. Chris, Laura. Just a reminder that mountain travel can be so dangerous. It's important to have that safety kit in the car with water, blankets, mm -hmm. and even snacks. Thank you 